In a world of primordial life, an ultimate predator once existed. Millions of years ago, Earth was a completely different place. An era where life evolved to astonishing limits. Where giant invertebrate monsters ruled the land. We will travel back in time to the Carboniferous period, around 330 million years ago. Here, one of the most terrifying creatures once existed, Pulmonoscorpius. A scorpion reaching up to 70 centimeters in length, a true giant. What exactly was this creature? What allowed it to grow to such an astonishing size? And how did it hunt in that dangerous world? To truly understand Pulmonoscorpius, we must immerse ourselves in its world. The Carboniferous Period, also known as the Coal Age. This was a warm, humid era that witnessed an explosion of land plants, creating vast swamp forests that covered much of the earth. The secret behind the enormous size of Pulmonoscorpius and other insects lies in one key factor, oxygen. During the Carboniferous period, atmospheric oxygen levels may have reached up to 35%, significantly higher than today. The tracheal respiratory system of arthropods functioned far more efficiently in such an oxygen-rich environment, allowing them to grow to extraordinary sizes that we can hardly imagine. One final detail about Pulmonoscorpius lies in its unique origin. Fossils have been discovered in Scotland, a region that was once an isolated volcanic lake ecosystem. This geographical isolation created a miniature kingdom a special evolutionary chamber. In this closed environment with few competitors, Pulmonoscorpius not only survived, but rose to become the ultimate ruler, a king forged within a one-of-a-kind ecosystem. Unlike many of its modern descendants that hide underground, Pulmonoscorpius was an active stalker. Its anatomy showed no adaptations for burrowing. Instead, it spent all its time moving relentlessly through the dense vegetation of the coal forests, hunting giant amphibians and arthropods. It was a true ruler of the land, never buried in darkness. Pulmonoscorpius was not just large, it was a predatory machine perfectly equipped for that primordial world. Reaching nearly a meter in length, it was one of the most formidable hunters on land at that time. Unlike its sea scorpion relatives, Pulmonoscorpius possessed the ultimate weapon, deadly venom. Its pincers were not only for holding prey, but also for crushing it, while its arched tail could deliver a lightning-fast sting, injecting venom into its victim's body. This was the apex predator of the coal forests. Its tough exoskeleton provided excellent defense against any enemy. With eight powerful legs, Pulmonoscorpius could move quickly and agilely through dense vegetation, from muddy swamps to fallen tree trunks. They were patient hunters, lurking in silence, and once they struck, no prey could escape their pursuit. As a true scorpion, Pulmonoscorpius did not lay eggs, but gave birth to live young. 
This was a survival strategy that required significant care from the mother. The mother scorpion carried her young on her back, shielding them from all predators until they could molt and hunt on their own. A life sheltered within their mother's living armor. To grow, they had to undergo the perilous process of molting. This was the moment when the creature was most vulnerable, yet it was also the stage that determined their size for dominance. But even the mightiest rulers had to face the changes of time. By the late Carboniferous and early Permian periods, atmospheric oxygen levels began to decline, completely reshaping the environment. Climate change and the drop in oxygen levels limited the ability of arthropods to grow to massive sizes. At the same time, the emergence and rise of larger, more efficient reptiles created intense competition. Pulmonoscorpius and its giant relatives gradually gave way to these new predators. Today, scorpions still exist, but in far more modest sizes, serving as living proof of life's constant transformation on Earth. Pulmonoscorpius is a powerful reminder of a lost world, an era when arthropods were the true rulers. It was not only one of the largest scorpions to have ever lived, but also a symbol of the unique environmental conditions that allowed life to evolve in extraordinary ways. Do you think we will ever witness such giant creatures again? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to discover more prehistoric mysteries. See you in the next video.